Money, save it, invest it, multiply it. Luke chapter 16, verses 10 and 11. He who is faithful in what is least is faithful also in much. He who is unjust in what is least is unjust also in much. Therefore, if you have not been faithful in the unrighteous mammon, who will commit to your trust the true riches? In this chapter in Luke 16, the Lord Jesus spoke of a story of the unjust steward or the unrighteous manager. Uh, this manager who actually misused his position and he wasted away the money that was put in his hands for stewardship. But in the process of telling us the story, and I'm not necessarily going to narrate this whole story as Jesus said it, but the end outcome of the story of Jesus narrating the story was he wanted us to understand some important truths concerning our handling of money. And we've read two verses, verses 10 and 11, Jesus says in this context, in the context of how we handle money, he says, look, if you are faithful in little things, it means you're also going to be faithful in much. That means if you are careful in how you handle little, it's a sign that you'll also be careful in how you will handle plenty. So this is something we must understand about money, that, you know, God is watching how we handle unrighteous mammon or how we are, are, are handling the money that we have in our hands. Even when we have only little. You see, many of us think, okay, look, I have just little, uh, you know, it's not a big deal. Uh, when I have ho a whole lot of money, then I will think about uh, doing so many different things with it. But actually, God watches us in our faithfulness in the little we have. And if you're faithful in that, then he's going to entrust us with much. And also in verse 11, Jesus says, he will entrust us with true riches, meaning spiritual things, things of his kingdom. You see, how, uh, what God entrusts us with for the things of his kingdom is connected to how faithful we are in unrighteous mammon and how we handle the money that he has placed in our hands. So what would God expect us to do with money? In Luke 19, when Jesus gave another story or another parable uh, of, 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 of a ruler who went away, um, he entrusted each of his servants with different amounts of money. He went away uh, to receive his kingdom and he comes back. In Luke 19, verses 15 to 17, we read, So it was that when he returned, having received the kingdom, he then commanded these servants to whom he had given the money to be called to him that he might know how, each, how much every man had gained by trading. It is interesting. What was this man looking for? He entrusted his servants with certain amounts of money and he called them back and he said, I want, you to, I want to know how you multiplied that money. How did you trade with that money? Did you uh, just keep it aside? Did you invest it? Did you multiply it? What did you do with that money? And, and it says here, then came the first saying, Master, your mina has earned 10 minas. And he said to him, well done, good servant, because you are faithful in a very little, have authority over 10 cities. So here we understand the concept of faithfulness. What does it mean to be faithful? It means you take what, you, what has been entrusted in your hands, you multiply it, you invest it, you trade with it, you cause it to increase. That's a sign of faithfulness. And I believe that when God entrusts us with money, He wants us to be good stewards of it, which means we save it, we invest it, we multiply it. That's being faithful in the unrighteous mammon. That's being faithful with the money God has entrusted to us. And when we're faithful in little, He causes more to come into our hands. When we are faithful with money, He entrusts us with things of His kingdom. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you will give us the understanding and the wisdom to be faithful with the money you've placed in our hands. Show us how to save it, invest it, and multiply it. To be good stewards of the money you've given to us. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.